Long into the night, after some endless wrangling over the financial element of the text, the 23rd UN Climate Conference comes to a close. I am very pleased that with this decision, the COP launches this dialogue, which will start in January 2018. Under the Fijian presidency, the spirit of these talks has been upbeat, and the Paris Agreement, it seems, is on track. So all in all, I think that we're in a very good place. 2018 is the year to step it up. It's the year to step up climate action, and I think what we have here sets us on a good road ahead. That said, it's a lot of homework to do, it's not easy, but I think we're seeing will and decisiveness on the part of governments, government, cities, states, private sector to move ahead. So, progress, but is it enough for those most immediately threatened by climate change? Not enough is being done. It's, it's certainly not enough for the survival of the Pacific. And there needs to be increased ambition, there needs to be a greater responsibility taken by developed countries, they need to keep fossil fuels in the ground and they need to move towards a safe and just transition to renewable energy. Keeping fossil fuels in the ground was always on the agenda in and outside the conference halls. No German coal phase out from Angela Merkel, but the UK and Canada launched an alliance of 20 nations to wind down coal use. Meanwhile, a delegation sent by the Trump administration to promote coal got a predictable welcome. As a coalition of US states and cities stepped into the void to say, we're still in the Paris Agreement. It doesn't matter how much uh, Donald Trump tweets. He can tweet his fingers off, but he cannot stop us. He cannot stop me from my rule that is reducing carbon pollution. So this conference has delivered what it set out to do and created the mechanism to move the Paris Agreement forward, the so-called Talanoa Dialogue. But before the conference opens in Poland a year from now, there's clearly plenty of work to do. Next stop is the French capital, where in December, President Macron will host a special summit looking specifically at climate finance. The Paris Agreement rolls on. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Bonn, Germany.